Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, Joshua Bardwell F4 All-in-One Betaflight Flight Controller. This one has been out for a while, but uh, obviously has been only sold in mostly the U.S. Um, stores like GetFPV, Race Day Quads, I believe, and a few others. Um, if you guys are wondering if this is a clone or not, this is actually the real deal. Um, I did see a video from Bardwell a while back where he did say that this is selling on Banggood. And for those of you that are already familiar with this one, uh, you know, you already know that you can get this in U.S. stores, but the reason that I'm making this video is, and the reason that Banggood sent this to me is to, is to sort of promote awareness that you can get this flight controller at Banggood. And for those of you that are international, outside the U.S., um, you can get, obviously, better shipping, and uh, this is going to be um, more accessible to people outside the United States. So this is more or less for those people, so those of you guys that are like, oh, you know, you can obviously get it at get FPV or whatever. Yes, that's true. Um, and for those of you in the U.S., you can get it in, in the typical U.S. stores. This is more for people that are outside the U.S. that have had issues with shipping, getting stuff, you know, international is pretty expensive. It's sometimes cheaper to get it from being good if you're in certain countries. So this is for you guys that are international and want to buy things from being good. You can get this flight controller from being good. Um, and, and, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of, you know, obviously for those of you guys that already know about this flight controller, it's very, um, it's a pretty, pretty popular flight controller. Uh, I'm not going to really, you know, uh, go over it in too much detail. I'm just going to cover it really briefly here, just uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, just more or less just uh, to, to bring awareness that you can get this at being good now. And it is legitimate. It's not a clone. So if you guys are seeing comments down below, um, I'll uh, link a video. I think I'll try and find that video that Barbara put up that says that this is actually a legitimate product from Banggood, the real thing and not a clone. So if you guys are complaining it's a clone, um, it is the real legitimate flight controller. Okay, so that now that's out of the way, and go over the uh, feature set of this uh, pretty nice flight controller. And of course, it comes with the rubber grommets here that convert the M4 holes into M3 holes, which you're going to need for vibration dampening. And uh, yeah, this um, uh, one of the nice things about this uh, flight controller, it has uh, very nice large solder pads here, so it makes soldering very easy, uh, well, relatively easy for those of you that are experienced uh, with soldering, versus some of the flight controllers with really tiny pads are more difficult to solder. And the layout's pretty good. So obviously this is a uh, PDB and flight controller combo. So uh, it does have a uh, current sensor on the bottom. You can actually connect your battery leads here on the bottom here as well. And um, all the ESC connections here are in the corners where they should be, along with the uh, signal pads. So this is going to be motor 1, motor 2, 3, and 4. And then you have the RX4 here for ESC telemetry for those of the the you guys that are using the DSHOT 1200 uh, 32-bit ESCs, you can have that connected up there. So very logical layout overall. Uh, it does have four UARTs, and they're in various places here throughout the board. You have RX6, TX6 there. You have uh, RX4, TX4 over here. Uh, so obviously RX4 and RX4 in various places. I think TX6 is also in another spot in this board as well. Uh, LED buzzer connections there. Your camera can... Um, Camera connections are up on top here, so if you have Cam C and Cam S, so Cam C is for analog camera control, uh, S is for camera signal, and I believe that's 9 volts and ground here. So this does have two voltage regulators on here. It has a 9 volt regulator and a 5 volt regulator, and they both go up to 1.2 amps. Got a boot button there, OSD chip there. The MPU 6000 gyro is right there in the middle. Um, yeah, so AKAK only on this board. Uh, you have a little, like a potentiometer or something here, I guess, for adjusting the voltage. Pretty sure it's set at the factory. You do have some solder bridges that you'll need to set here. So, uh, right. So, right here, you can bridge to the left for ADC um, or on the right for telemetry. This is for, I think this is for this connection here coming from a 4 one ec So this does have an option to connect to a 4 one ec It does not come with a wiring loom. Um, I guess they're assuming that this will come with the ESC you're using. And they're saying that uh, I think certain AirBot uh, 4 one ecs will have the correct, uh, I guess, order of wires here and number of wires and the connector. So if you have a different EC, you're going to have to make sure you check that it's in the correct order. You don't want to be having something backwards or, or voltage going to the wrong one, you'll probably fry uh, the ESC or the board here. 
So obviously voltage here, VCC here, battery voltage on the left, current sensor, ground, and then you have your four motor outputs there. You have another solder bridge over here for five volts or 3.3 volts, you can see there. And I think here is you, uh, where you can draw five volts or 3.3 volts here for your receiver. So 3.3 volts if you have a DSMX receiver, one of the Spectrum satellites, you can bridge that here. So you got to do those before, you have to set that up before you actually, before it actually will work. And I think down here you have a, I think this is a chip for black box data. I don't think it's that big, maybe 16 megabytes uh, at the most. Okay, back on the other side of the board, uh, on the bottom here you have your connections for your video transmitters. So you have video, 9 volts and ground here. Um, and uh, on the um, uh, video, uh, I'm sorry, the battery, I'm sorry, the BCs here are filtered outputs uh, for 9 volts and uh, 5 volts. So uh, should have some pretty clean video on this particular board because it is filtered output on the uh, BECs. Yeah, so that's going to do it for this overview of the uh, Joshua Bardwell uh, F4 on one flight controller. Uh, yeah, I think overall I like it. It looks like it's going to be very easy to set up and use. And of course I can understand now why it's pretty popular. It should work with a lot of different uh, equipment out there. And, you know, it's uh, not an F7, of course. It's not a 32K gyro, of course. It's, you know... It's going to work uh, pretty well for most people. I think that's what the goal of this flight controller is. It's got an F4, 4 UARTs, and MP6000 gyro, and 9 volts and 5 volts in terms of uh, power outputs. So this is going to work pretty well for most people in most situations, most builds. So it's a pretty nice flight controller. I think I'll definitely use this in something. I'm not sure what or when yet, but yeah, I'll let you know in a future video if I am using it. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.